Welcome to 3SP104-350 feeder relay module. In this module, we'll introduce the protection and control elements and functions specific for 350 feeder relays. The common functions of 3 series introduced in the previous modules 103 won't be repeated, but will be used as a reference in the 104 modules. Two major contents in this module will be 350 feeder relay protection and 350 feeder relay controls. In the protection session, we'll introduce these functions of 350 feeder relays. Phase directional overcurrent, neutral IOC, TOC and directional overcurrent. Negative sequence IOC and TOC. Ground IOC, TOC and directional overcurrent. Positive sequence under voltage. Negative sequence over voltage. Neutral over voltage. Auxiliary under voltage and over voltage. Thermal over load. Broken conductor. Phase directional overcurrent is used to discriminate between faults that occur in the forward direction or in the reverse direction. The phase directional element can be used either individually for control or alarm by energizing the auxiliary output relays or as part of the phase IOC or TOC element to define the tripping direction. For example, in the phase IOC element, when the direction is set to forward in the IOC, if actual direction is in the reverse direction, then phase IOC blocking turns on. When actual direction is in the forward, then blocking will be off. Same principle applies to the reverse settings and conditions. When direction is disabled in phase IOC, blocking will be off. When phase IOC direction is not disabled, then block OC undefined is on due to VT input is below the minimum supervision level. Then blocking will be on. In this example, we're going to set the phase directional to control and max torque angle to the default 30 degrees lead. MTA stands for max torque angle. This is the angle of maximum sensitivity the maximum torque angle by which the operating current leads the polarizing voltage. It is also called ECA, element characteristic angle in other multilin relays. From the logic diagram, phase A current needs VBC as polarizing voltage for ABC rotation. For phase B and C, Voltage VCA and VAB are used for the polarizing. Phase directional function will be inhibited when operating current is less than 5% of CT or polarizing voltage less than minimum voltage level. When operation comparator is based on operating current and polarizing line-to-line -line voltage and MTA, when MTA set to default 30 degree, the forward region for phase A current angle will be 330 degree to 150 degree lagging. The reverse direction will be 150 degree to 330 degree lagging. When phase directional block OC undefined is enabled, if VT voltage is below minimum supervision level, then 
block face OC directional undefined operand will be asserted. Neutral IOC and neutral TOC has exactly the same setting as face IOC and TOC. The difference is the input is calculated neutral current instead of using the measured phase current. From the logic diagram of neutral IOC, we can see IN input is computed by the relay. The function can be blocked by three digital inputs, code load pickup, auto reclose, and directional. In neutral TOC, the defined time delay is replaced with inverse time delay. Neutral directional element is used to discriminate fault direction for neutral IOC and TOC, and its configuration is more complex than the phase directional. A polarizing signal for the neutral directional element can be set to either voltage, current, or dual. Depending on the relay order code, the zero sequence voltage used for neutral directional polarizing voltage can be calculated when three phase voltage are available or its measured voltage from auxiliary VT input when the three phase voltage are not available. For these relays with available phase VTs, the polarizing voltage for neutral directional element is calculated as below. To get the calculated neutral polarizing voltage, the phase VT inputs must be connected in Y. For this relay with available auxiliary VT, the polarizing voltage for neutral directional element is three times the zero sequence voltage measured at VX terminal and VX input should be connected in to measure 3V0 from a broken delta VT configuration. From the logic diagram, when polarizing is set to voltage, the direction is determined by comparing the angle between the operating neutral current and the voltage, and the set MTA angle. In case where voltage drops below the setting of the minimum polarizing voltage, neutral directional element is undefined. When current polarizing is selected, the direction of the neutral current is determined with reference to the direction of measured ground current. The fault is detected in the forward direction when the ground current typically flowing from the ground point into the neutral current is within 90 degrees of the polarizing current. Otherwise, the direction is detected as reverse. The neutral directional element is undefined. If the polarizing ground current drops below 5% of the ground CT. Negative sequence IOC and TOC has the same settings as phase and neutral IOC and TOC. The difference is that input is calculated negative sequence current. The negative sequence over current element are uniquely suited to detect the negative sequence current presented in an unbalanced load. For this reason, the pickup setting should be above the maximum expected negative sequence current due to load unbalance. Now let's review what we learned in the FMPR 103, the calculation of the symmetrical component of the current by Fortescue formula. From the logic diagram of negative sequence IOC and TOC, we can see the input current I2 is calculated negative sequence current. For the calculation of inverse curve, the multiple should be negative sequence current over the VT. Ground IOC and TOC use ground input D6 and E6 measured current as operating current. 
There are three ways to get the ground current: by neutral, grounding CT, zero sequence CT, and the residual connection. The settings are the same as phase LC and TOC. From the logic diagram, we can see input current is from IG or sensitive ground input. It has a blocking from digital inputs, auto reclose, and directional. The ground directional element is used to discriminate fault directions of ground IOC and TOC. The polarizing voltage can be either calculated when three phase voltage are available and in Y connection, or three V zero measured from an open delta VT to input VX. The operating current for the ground directional element is the measured current from the ground CT input terminals. Depending on the ground CT connection, the measured current from the CT terminals can be either the current from a zero sequence CT or the zero sequence current from a residual CT connection. From the logic diagram, we can see the polarizing voltage is V zero when calculated, or three V zero when using auxiliary VT input. Positive sequence on the voltage is a unique feature in multi-lin relay series. It has the same setting as phase under voltage. Time delay characteristic can be programmed either as defined time delay or inverse time delay. There's also a minimum supervision voltage levels. The difference is that the input is the calculated positive sequence voltage instead of measured three phase voltage. So now let's review the Fortescue equations on the calculation of the positive sequence voltage. From the logic diagram of positive sequence under voltage, the input is calculated from positive sequence voltage V1. The minimum supervision voltage is also using V1. Negative sequence over voltage is the opposite of the positive sequence under voltage. It can be used to detect the loss of one or two phase of source or reversed voltage phase sequence. The input is a calculated negative sequence voltage. The calculation is to use the Fortescue equations. The logic diagram of negative sequence over voltage shows the input V2 is used for the Y connection, and three times V2 is used for the delta connection. Neutral over voltage of 350 relay requires a three phase bus VTs to be Y connected. It has a setting of the pickup and delay as phase over voltage. When setting of the pickup for this element, it's important to consider the error in the VT ratios as well as the normal voltage unbalance on the system. The logic diagram shows the input neutral voltage is 3V0. Auxiliary under voltage and over voltage use the input from auxiliary VT relay terminals VX where a single voltage from the line is connected. The settings are the same as the phase under voltage and over voltage. In both logic diagrams of auxiliary under voltage and over voltage, the input is from auxiliary VT and all the rest are the same as phase under voltage and over voltage. Thermal overload protection can be applied to prevent damage to the protected cables or overhead lines. The heating of the cables is resistive. The generated heat is directly proportional to the square of the flowing current. The relay uses a thermal time characteristic based on current squared and integrated over time. In the formula of thermal capacity, tau is heating and cooling time constant usually provided by the manufacturer. The heating time constant used when squared load 
over pickup ratio is greater than the thermal capacity theta t minus 1 estimated in the previous time step. Otherwise, the formula uses the cooling time constant. Thermal capacity is displayed on the relay and even when the thermal capacity thermal function is disabled. Thermal capacity starts to increase when load current exceeds pickup level. The time to trip is defined by IEC 6255-149 standard. The hot curve is used when initial thermal capacity is non-zero, otherwise cold curve will be used. In the logic diagram, the input are three-phase current and converted into thermal capacity theta, then used for trip or alarm. The broken conductor detection function detects a feeder broken conductor condition or single pole open breaker malfunction condition by checking the phase current input phasors and I2, I1 ratio. During broken conductor condition, an unbalance is produced and this ratio is increased. The minimum and maximum positive sequence current should be set to prevent erratic pickup and below the fault level. In the logic diagram, the main calculation is from negative sequence and positive sequence current with valid range of positive sequence current. 50 dd disturbance detector is also used in this function. Each current is compared with its 4 cycle old value. When phase A current is below minimum positive sequence current level, if phase A 50 dd operand picked up but not phase B and C, then supervision will be enabled after two cycles. Same principle works on phase B and C. As such, this function only detects a single phase broken conductor. Two phase or three phase broken conductor cannot be detected. In the control session, we are going to introduce these functions of 350 feeder relay. Cold load pickup, auto reclose, synchro check, second harmonic inhibit. Cold load pickup of 350 can block IOC elements and raise the pickup level of TOC elements when cold load condition is detected. If cold load condition is detected, during closing of the breaker on feeder that has been de-energized for the outage time. The feeder inrush current and the motor acceleration current during feeder closing may be about 500% of nominal current, far above the pickup level. IOC element can be set to disabled for this block time and TOC pickup level can be raised to a higher value. In the logic diagram, cold load pickup is armed when three-phase currents are below 3% of CT, and after the outage time delay, it can also be directly initiated by external input. Once armed, IOC elements are blocked. TOC elements pickup level are raised if they are set up earlier. When three-phase current are higher than 10% of CT, more than block time delay, then code load pickup condition will be disarmed. Automatic reclose can be set up to four reclosing shots with independent set of protection elements for initiation like IOC and TOC elements. Each shot can be set up with individual dead time.
reset auto reclose not ready time will reset auto reclose lockout upon breaker close and timer times out incomplete sequence time times out for the incomplete sequence of auto reclose process like auto reclose initiate to open the breaker where the breaker does not open or reclosing command is issued but the breaker does not close reset time will reset auto reclose short counter to zero when no breaker tripping occurs within the reset time and also reset auto reclose into auto reclose ready mode auto reclose shots can be blocked by the various IOC and TOC elements. In the simplified auto reclose logic diagram, we will go through one shot auto reclose process. Initially, auto reclose function is enabled, no blocking inputs, really not in lockout status. Breaker condition is closed. We say auto reclose is armed. When face IOC operated, circuit breaker open command is issued, auto reclose is in process. Reclose in process is latched before reset timer times out. Before the circuit breaker close command is sent, when breaker is open, face IOC dropped out. Dead time timer 1 starts if short counter is 0. When dead time 1 expires, circuit breaker close command is sent out. If successful, auto reclose will reset after reset time. Otherwise, incomplete sequence times will start and eventually will cause auto reclose to lock out. Synchro check element is used for monitoring the connection of two parts of circuit by close of a breaker. This element verifies the voltage VL and VB at both sides of the breaker are within the magnitude, angle, and frequency limits set by the user. VL and VB are the line and bus voltage values measured by the device. They must be the same. VT connection on both sides and to be compared on the same basis, either face to face or face to ground. Synchro check is normally executed under live line and bus condition. If the user wants to enable the closing permission for cases where there's a loss of one or both voltage at both ends of the breaker then synchro check function incorporates closing permission logics in the live line to line bus case once voltage difference has been successfully verified in magnitude and sleeping frequency must be checked if the frequency difference between line and bus voltage is lower than 30 millihertz, then the closing permission is granted. But if the frequency difference is greater than the maximum frequency sleep setting, the closing permission is not granted. Otherwise, the function must check the angle difference by taking into account of the breaker closing time setting. 350 relay can be used for feeder transformer protection. During transformer energization, the inrush current presenting in-phase current may impact some sensitive element, such as neutral directional overcurrent. Therefore, the ratio of the second harmonic to the fundamental magnitude per phase is monitored. When this ratio exceeds the pickup level, an inhibit signal is asserted which can be used to block such as sensitive elements.
Second harmonic operation is based on three conditions: fundamental phase current above minimum supervision level, second harmonic ratio higher than the setting, and lastly, the phase selection. Any one, two, three, or average meets the configuration. Now let's recap what we learned about the protection and controls of 350 feeder relay. In the beginning, we introduced the phase directional OC working principle. Then later compared it with neutral directional OC and ground directional OC. We then introduced IOC and TOC elements of neutral, negative sequence, and ground. Compared them with phase IOC and TOC. Explained the difference in input signals. Especially reviewed the Fortescue equations to calculate the symmetrical components. For the voltage elements, we introduced positive sequence under voltage, negative sequence over voltage, and the calculation of voltage symmetrical components in Y and delta VT connection, and neutral over voltage, auxiliary under voltage and over voltage. And lastly. We introduced the thermal overload function and its calculation of the thermal capacity, the broken conductor, and the calculation of the I2 over I1. In the controls, we introduced cold load pickup, which can disable IOC and raise the TOC pickup level. Auto reclose working process by giving one example of the one shot auto reclose. Then the synchro check and the second harmonic inhibit function. That concludes this 3SP-104-350 feeder relay module.